Welcome to the desert of the real. Anytime I need a good laugh, I don't mean laugh as in, <laughs> I don't mean as in laughing as in, man, the Negro's crazy, but I'm talking about, man, the way you <laughs> the way you put people in check has me rolling sometimes. When I'm in a bad mood, I'd be like, I wouldn't hold up and put something on the internet. You know, I, I think if we, we as, you know, in the african Center community, we need that. We need to know that, you know, we we sometimes we debate and we fight so hard with these people that we don't realize that we standing on the right side. So we got to act like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's sometimes it's not so much a debate. It's just you know, like just us repeating ourselves over and over again to challenge all of the dumb stuff that's coming out of these people's mouths. You know, that's a really good point, man. That's that's a really good point. You know, hey, brother, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a couple. Let me ask brother, hold on, a couple of questions. First thing is about. What do you think about the uh, um, the IAACP uh, brother his uh, vision? What do you think about that? Two well, years. I, I told you like that. David here is my brother, man, and I, I like I said we can all because I like it when we have our discussions and he has some views that you don't agree with and he has you have some views. That, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Like, but it's all good to me because <laughs> we're all yeah. talking about you know us right. having control of our own environment. So that's the discussion that's I'm true. willing to have. Any day of the week, I can argue with. We can go back and forth and have different points of views, and it doesn't make me hate him or hate you or hate you. Know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So that's how I feel about that. It's like as long as we're on the same page that we have to control the 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 environment that we live in. You cool with me? Exactly. Exactly. Right. And I'm for everybody doing as many different things as possible because one of them is going to work. Because one of them is going to work. But there are going to be times where one strategy doesn't work and another one will fill in the place. Thank you. Now it's time to look at like the different strategies, you know. But when Yo, you're I'm all like, on, but the thing know. is, you're all on the same page. Now, if you're exactly. coming to me, talk, if you're coming to me talking about some racial identity politics is destructive to the black community, then me and you are going to war. <laughs> right, right, right. Because right. I can show. In, in my last everybody, video, everybody, everybody that comes over here talk it is about race. The Irish, everybody's Irish. It was all about Irish trying to fit into America. The Anglo-Saxons, everybody else in the in the tribes. You know, and basically uh, did their things. Tri- America was a very tribal country. Carla, you know, we're the only ones that haven't f- bought into the, uh, figured it out. Carla, Sorry, yeah, I, I did a, vi- a two-part video called "White Affirmative Action." It's been on YouTube, and nobody has challenged it. Well, I'm gonna write that down. Oh, yeah. When, yeah, when yeah, did I you do that? that? I heard that one. It was good, on, it, good, real good. White really affirmative, really white really affirmative really action. Where for 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 three hundred years before the land, so-called land affirmative earth, action yeah. act was even put into thing, you had. Land grabbed by whites, government hand out to whites. So they were socialists for 300 years, and then now all of a yep. sudden they they conservative now. <laughs> oh, yeah, but when it. it's conserved, when, when it comes down to black people trying to come up, whatever. Now it's time to conserve. You know, white people yeah. had it was they made this country idiot proof. They gave them plenty of land and, and free labor. You know, and then cheap labor after that. So idiot proof. All you, you had the land. All you have to do is just uh, know how to put it on, put it down on paper, and utilize and uh, resource uh, uh, the plenty of available cheap labor that kept coming off the boats, and the availability of markets because you had market. Every time you have people, you have markets, you know, and you have productive land being produced, factories, uh, warehousing, all productivity. You control it all because everybody did all that to, to make all that. You're taxing and you're regulating all that. So basically, every time you get land, you just fill it up with people and let them do their thing. Let them go to um, small towns and everything, you know. So, like I said, it was just uh, it was a it was a win-win situation for them. Is you know? Thomas still on the line? 
Yes, I'm sorry. I want to ask all three of you this question. Did racial yeah. identity politics work for white people in this country? Of <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> yeah. you know, it see, that's what I'm it saying. It's like it's, we don't have to take these arguments seriously because they're, they're, they're just ridiculous on its face. Yep. Just state the facts. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, Racial yep, identity yep, yep. politics work very well for white folks in this country. Yep. <laughs> and the bottom line is going to work wonders for us, too, you know?